worst thing you can do when you reflect upon it is hide your love away. Man, that's when life starts to go backwards, not forwards, man. When you think love is a weakness, not a strength. When you think love has failed you and your heart is broken. And you're just tumbling over backwards, man, because, ooh, some unkind words were spoken, etc. You know, well, baby's expectations aren't always real. But the real is what you feel, the love that lasts forever. See now, it's a little tricky turf, man, you know, when you're uh, dealing with it in a personal sort of way. When you're feeling separate and isolated in that personal sort of way, as if you're the only one. And everything else going on around you is affecting you and you're not affecting it, you see. You're the victim, in other words, right at the bottom of the pile and just getting heaped on all the time. Well, no, I wouldn't say so now, would you, with rock and roll and medicine for your heart and soul. This old coyote medicine show gets you on the roll here on the Hazy Radio Network because we know better than to sink into that sorry little sack of doo-doo, man. You know, enough of the old broken-hearted routine. Now, how on earth can you ever get past the heart that was broken, the first one at last? You know, well, babies, it's simple. You recognize that no heart can be broken. Do we have expectations? We have obsessions. We have behavioral patterns that would lead to obsessive expectations. <laughs> That isn't the heart. That isn't the love. That's a different thing. That's a dream we're trying to fulfill. And it's fueled by a larger dream that says there can be real love in this life between everyone and everything. And every heart listening in here today has that dream and has in process the very fulfillment of that dream and all these little love affairs we've had before this time all these little experimentations and that's what they've been give yourself credit for what it is experimentations in love have been leading us in this direction all of them even the ones that flat broke our expectational heart all to do do those are probably the most important ones man because then you learn to be really creative by the heart, to let the heart show you the way, not to try and create the way, because that backfires on you every time, especially in this day and age and time of now. You can't manipulate yourself in that psychotic sort of way into a situation that's going to work for you. You can only, and I mean only, allow the heart's intelligence to guide you. Now, what on earth is this old man talking about heart's intelligence? Well, some people call it intuition, inner knowing. It's something much bigger than that. It's the love in which you're flowing. It's the life in which you're living. And see, this is why I advocate time out in nature. Get your little trip on, man. Get to feeling some sun on your skin, you know, some nature around you. Start to feel as if you really belong here. Start to let yourself feel the earth and the sky and yourself as the juncture between them. The very creative vessel of love made by your mother earth and the father sky to be that juncture of the heart, that from which creation beams into reality and you get to experience it all from your own little personal perception. But you're not alone in this gig whatsoever, are you now? Because as you see that perception, that perception grows. And you see that you're united with all life in your universal experience. Each person is then united in the universal experience. The love that is life. Pretty simple, really, when you get right down to it. But really seeing it and being it 
takes a bit of doing because we've been tricked right out of it from that time long ago when we were like put down and made into less than what we already are. A de-evolution, if you will. And a severe one, too, that happened in a momentary moment. And the evidence of it geologically is all around us. It's everywhere. If you think for a minute there hasn't been far more advanced civilizations than this, well, babies, you're turning a blind eye to the evidence that's everywhere. Not to mention that good old mountain over there in Romania where the real truth exists. And it's because it's been touched by a good heart and opened, then that real truth exists inside of all of us and is accessible now. Our true history. You see, that's how you unravel the mystery and get the deeper understanding of this life. When you start to see the threads of your own personal experience in it. What your role is here for real, man. And what you've been doing all along since, you know, day one of the density, man. And the darkness that went with it. See, we didn't even know darkness before the density. We'd only lived in light. That's what we are. We're light beings. We're made of stars. or stardust, if you will. That's our normal state of being. And it has a little physical density to it. Yeah, but nothing like this. We went down like, man, 42 dimensions all at once. All of a sudden we were heavy and compressed. And, geez, what a feeling. Didn't know what to do with that, you see. Well, the switch back will happen just as fast because we've been working for it for generations, working toward it for generations now. Planting a little seed here, a little seed there, a little seed there, and they're sprouting all out now, every one of them. So all of this work we've done through the generations that you begin to see as you relax and feel your place in nature, then nature begins to show you your place in creation. And it's far more significant than you've ever been led to believe by any uh, figure in this reality of authority because they're all there to control you. They might give you a larger vision of yourself, but only so they can redirect it. You see, there's been a lot of chicanery here. We don't need that anymore, you see. We've allowed that to be so because we knew we would be stupid. We had to go through a long, stupid age. So we did. And we got it backwards for a long time, but finally we're going forwards, baby. You see, what you feel in your heart right now, that's what everyone in this earth should be feeling in this same moment. What you allow for yourself then is allowed then in the creation around you, you see. And in this way do we turn the tail on all of those that have sought chicanery here and to blow us back to caveman times, etc. Whatever they could do, they're desperate these days. But they're not so desperate because they're starting to realize too they're not so alone. And if they wipe out humanity, they just wiped out themselves. There's no salvation from such heinous activities as that now, is there? Because we're all in it together. A singular love, a singular life, you see. And through these kind of realizations of that singularity comes the end of the broken heart. Because you see that you are united with life far more deeply and passionately than you ever could have imagined before this time. That you don't need to go to another to be reunified with life. That you've got everything inside of yourself and you're completely rooted in this reality now. You got it down. You know how to feel. You know how to, how to handle the feelings of it now. So now you can allow yourself to expand and grow beyond the 3D. Because you got it down finally, see? You finally realize that the solution is you. Your sweetheart, too. That's the one thing you want to let go. The heart. That which know. That which is innocent, see? I know it's been made to feel guilty about everything innocent that it ever felt. That's the old programming and conditioning. Let it go. There's love in everything, don't you know? Everything. Every moment. 
the light, the dark, everything in between, all of it. There, it's life, it's love in motion. See, now you're starting to get the bigger picture, the larger scene. You're starting to see beyond the movie, the drama that we've lived in. You're starting to see real life, what it's all about, the reconditioning of the heart of humanity, the training that we so desperately needed so that we could appreciate our divine love and be responsible in it. And the only way we knew to do that was to be irresponsible for a while in a dreaming sort of way, and we've done that. We've gone to the extremes, polarized like crazy. But, you know, polarities don't last very long. A few million years and they're done with, you know. Same with the seasons and cycles of time. As we begin to realize our true nature, our true divine way, we awaken to our true place in reality. And all this old shit just dissolves away. What doesn't fit isn't here to play. There's only truth. And that's peaceful. For real. That's why we're living now. That's why we've held on to this dream we could never let go of. That's why we've obsessively tried to apply it in a, a thousand different situations only to have it backfire on it. There's only one way to do it. That's to accept and receive of yourself and be united inside. To no longer feel the conflict with the reality around you because there's no conflict within you. That's where we go with it, see. That's what makes us a happy little Rosalie, a happy little carefree little love bunny in human form. When we realize the unity of our heart, the massive nature of our intimate connection with all of life. It's a far bigger picture than it's ever been painted for you before, babies. But it's a reality and it's a truth that you're finally allowing yourself to settle into. It takes some expansion. It takes some willingness. But not too much. You've been up against far tougher things than that, Rosalie. Listen to your grandpappy here. Set yourself free, okay? Embrace that sweetheart of yours right now. In this and how moment of divine revealing, where you finally get the feeling that, baby, you know what's going on here and you're in the flow. That's why you know. And that's how you're going to go from here on out. Especially since you listen to Grandpa Coyote and the Coyote Medicine Show here on the Everclear Hazy Radio Network, dear. Getting it better all the time, ain't we? We're getting out in those meadows today in that bright sunshine. Going to get out there and have ourselves a little fun today, ain't we? You betcha. Because why? Because it's a tripping Tuesday on the Coyote Medicine Show. And what else can we do but get out of nature and just party with the trip of the natural thing that's going on there, that's going on here? Only we don't recognize it till we're there, recognizing it in here, because it's there to remind us of what's in here. Eh? <laughs> it's always coyote medicine through and through. Babies in this life and on this hazy radio network every morning, Monday through Friday, as Grandpa Coyote and crew, man, which includes you, helps us get it underway in that flowing sort of way, wouldn't you say? Learn how to take it just a little easier so we don't have all that tension anymore, man. Just let it go. Ain't nobody the enemy. Everybody is your friend, whether they know it or not. And if they don't listen, you can just go after them, right? <laughs> You're my friend, dang it. <laughs> In your heart, everything is much more than a friend. It's a close, personal associate. I don't care if it's a needle on a pine tree, a bird that lands on the branch and sings a good song to you, 
or your own little fingers, etc., whatever it is, man. It's all a part of what we are. Each one of us lives in all of that. And all of that lives in each one of us. And that's what we feel when we get real here on this Coyote Medicine Show and get to boogieing around a bit and get to opening up our heart a wee bit. Yeah, the expansive power of love flowing to you from 9,000 feet above here in the Rocky Mountain sky. Though we could be below a few of you, don't you know? Some live higher than 9,000 feet. You know, some of these eagles in life. Ooh, I'm thinking about one of my friends over there in uh, the European places that lives on top of a mountain, man, way up there. How about that? How would you like to do that? I think I could handle it. I think we're going back to such states. And I don't think it'll be uh, harsh and brutal weather up there like it is right now. I think things are changing in this old reality. I think we're coming around at last. Why? Because, well, a few hearts have been found. And that's all it takes to bring the rest of us around. You see, if just one catches on, well, then everybody pretty soon is going to be singing that same old song. And we're all going to be joined in divine harmony. The sweetest of love there could ever be. Can you imagine... Being in love with everyone and everything. So much so that you couldn't be critical of any of it. That if there is anything to be critical of, it's fixed just like that. It just doesn't happen anymore. A reality without conflict or competition or, or any of that severity that goes with all of those cold-hearted concepts that we've so accepted as the center part of our life since we got densified down so many millions of years ago and had to take this human from the bottom to the top, man. Well, we've done it. We've gone through it all, man, and we're just finishing with the last little bits of it now. So be ready for some major change in your life on this trip in Tuesday and every other day to follow it in this moment of right now where all those moments occur, you see. We're putting it back together again, you know. We're no longer seeing it shattered and upside down and backwards. In this flow of life, we're coming back to the true vision of life, the truly held perception. What does that take? A little unity inside of yourself, an allowance of the heart's eye to open, that it empowers your other two eyes to see what's real and no longer live in the land of illusion. That's the deal. That's the coyote medicine. Find what's real and hang on to that and let that be your source of growth and entertainment. Because I guarantee you it gets entertaining when you're that associated with life, when you're that close to life. Especially when you got someone else to share it with, right? Or somebody's, right? That comes with the program, that comes with the turf. As you allow and grow in this way, well, others quite naturally will join with you. And there won't be anything but equity at play. Small groups of hands joining, our hearts joining, hearts that understand one another, hearts that are on the same wave, wavelength, the same level of understanding as you are. And perhaps have their own brand and variety of it. So what? That's what makes us colorful and real and right as persons. The persons gathering together in a uniform field of energy. The equitous love. The seeing of that great love closely held in each heart. Joining that tiny little circle of friends, companions. As the circle gets larger and larger. And more and more folks join in. Until that circle is the Mother Earth and all who live within and about her. You see, that's where we're headed. That's the unraveling of the old mystery that's kept us held so far apart. Just allow your own heart to show you the history and you'll get the understanding and unraveling of the whole mystery. Be willing to see it then in the higher way and you'll always see the love at play. That's a lesson we're getting here today on this trip in 
Tuesday, a tremendous trip in Tuesday. Go hug a tree today, too, man. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to, if I can find one. <laughs> nah, there's quite a few right outside my door. I hope there is outside of yours, too. You remember, then, the rooted nature of your reality here. How Mother Earth exists in this organic density to give us that rooted feeling so that we will always know of the steady, solid love that flows in us just like the slap sap throws through the flower and the tree and gives blossoms to that flower, life to everything, you see. We're rooted in the liquidity, the organic, the feeling part, the deep feeling. The root chakra, as some call it, but it goes deeper than that. It's all of your chakras rolled up into one tremendous explosion of nuclear feeling where life just extends from you and your perception is everything. Now you can't hardly beat that for, you know, a, a, a good time on a, on a trip in Tuesday now, can you? See, and it'll be tremendous as you go through it, as you allow yourself to see and be what's real. Starting right there inside with what you feel and growing from there. The feeling is with that which with which we are dealing, that which roots us down, the feeling. So baby, just hold on. Be okay inside of yourself. See that you are okay. And that everything, no matter which way it's going, is going exactly the right way. You'll understand this as you grow into it today. Just let yourself be open. Yeah, and steady in your love. This love that creates. This love that goes beyond any personal obsessions we might hold. That it becomes an obsession with life itself. A love so deep and profound. That's how creation comes around. And we, again, the very source of that creation by being the juncture of earth and sky and all the love that's there. Well, baby, if that don't get you up out of your chair, maybe Kansas will. Got a little bit for us here, man, just to help rub it in a bit, you know, in a soft, sweet sort of way. Just consider Kansas your little morning can massage for the day, okay? Oh, babies, we know how to get it underway in that Rocky Mountain High sort of way, don't we? You betcha. Grandpa Coyote on the Spaceship Love, coming to you from 9,000 feet high in the Rocky Mountain sky here in Crestonia, Colorado, man. Sharing the wealth of our love, which is what? Your love. Reflected back to you in an amplified sort of way. Big hugs from Grandpa all day. <laughs>